Alright guys, so this video, um, get out the worksheet that is entitled Beaver. Alright, we're going to do the worksheet entitled Beaver. Alright, so let's look here at number one and I will zoom in a little more just in case you, uh, you don't have this worksheet in front of you. Alright, number one should be pretty simple. Um, this is what you call a uh, base drawing. So the drawing shows a solid made of stacked cubes, which the following best represents the base plan for the solid. Now first thing to look at is notice you have right to the right and front to the front. Right, front, right, front, right, front, right, front. So that's all good. Sometimes they may mess with you and they may actually twist it a little bit so you would have front and then right or something like that. Okay, so be careful. Make sure those align. They do. Now, first thing to look at, let's just start with um, wherever. Right here you got an L in the front and each of these is one. One, 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 one. Okay. So you notice here you got the L in the front, all ones, L in the front, all ones. Here, this, you're going to notice it's actually missing um, some stuff right here. So it can't be that one. Here you have no L in the front, it can't be that one. So let's see if either of these end up working out 100%. Okay. Now you look here, you have three blocks right behind that one. Three blocks right behind one, one, three, one, one, three, one, one, two. So it looks like this is the answer. Let's double check to make sure that everything works, okay? You got three. This one's one above, so it should be four. Four, four, three, four, 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 four. good. Three, three, two, one. Three, three, two, one, two, one, 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 two, one, one, one. So therefore, F is going to be the correct answer on number two. All right, let me move to the next one. All right. Okay. Thank you. So now let's look at our number four, okay? The floor, and I'll zoom in a little more just because uh, we kind of have that. All right. The floor of a concert hall is 3,600 square feet. If the hall is 90 feet wide, how long is it? Okay, so let's draw the square of a concert hall. 3,600 feet, um, 90 feet wide is 3,600 feet. Um, square feet. Right, so you're looking at area of this concert hall. Well, it's 90 feet wide. We need it needs to be some length x so that 90 times x is 3600, right? Or you could just do 3600 divided by 90 equals x. Um, if you divided those, you can cross out zeros. 369 divided by 9 is going to be 40 is going to equal x. Or just do it in your calculator. 3600 divided by 90, and you'll find your answer to be 40. 40 feet. Okay? Pretty simple. Let's go to the one below it, which is also number four because I just kind of, um, you know, I just cut out and, uh, and take some random questions that I thought are worthwhile. So if the graph is y equals x squared plus negative three, which describes the shift in the vertex of the parabola, the negative three of the function is changed to an eight. All right. So the best way to do this one is actually just to just to graph it. Y equal x squared plus negative three is y equal x squared minus three. If you graph this on your calculator, you're going to have y equal x squared minus three. It's going to look something like this. All right. Then if you graph the other one, you're going to change the negative three to an eight. So you're going to have x squared plus eight. You're changing the vertex from negative three to eight. So now it's going to be here. All right. So what happens when you go from this negative 3 to 8? Well, you're going up 3 and then 8 more. So all in all, you're actually going to go up 11 units. All right, so your correct answer is G. The graph is going to shift 11 units up. All right, let's move to the next one. Number 5. Oh, there's two number 5s. All right, so the first number 5. Volume of a cube is given by the expression x to the 6, y to the 3rd. Which expression gives the length of a side of the cube? So this one is kind of difficult because on your formula chart, you notice that you do not have volume of a cube. Okay, so this is going to be a more difficult tax problem if you get it. Well, the volume of a cube is uh, essentially length times width times height, right? But the length, the width, and the height are all the same because it's a cube. All the sides are the same. So therefore... When you do this, all right. 
Luis Martinez, report to the well, office. Wait to the, for the announcements to quit. All right. If you're Luis Martinez, you need to go to the office, they said. All right. So now let's do this. If you have volume of a cube, is x6 y to the third. Okay. Well, that means if length times width times height is the same, okay, we can imagine uh, the length to be x, the width to be x, and the height to be x. So you need something times something times something to give you x to the sixth, y to the third. All right, so what times what times what will give you x to the sixth, y to the third? I'm just going to go ahead and tell you the correct answer is this one. If you multiply these three together, what you're going to do is add up these twos. Two plus two plus two is going to be six. So you're going to get x to the sixth, y plus y, I mean y times y times y, like y to the one, y to the one, y to the one, y times y times y is y to the third. So that would give you x to the sixth, y to the third when you multiply that. So the correct answer is going to be b. All right, let's look at the second number five. And I think that is actually the last problem we're going to look at today. So which graph shows a function f of x equals x squared plus c in which c is greater than two? All right, so that one, when you're doing this, um, that just means, essentially, this is the vertex. This represents the vertex where it crosses. So this would actually be x squared plus 2, because this is where it's at. This would be x squared minus 2. This, which you can't see, all right. But uh, x squared plus 2, c is 2, but it does not say c is greater than or equal to. It says c is greater than 2. So therefore this would not be the correct answer. All right, let's look at the bottom two and see if that's greater than two in C and D. And you see C is Y equal X squared, right? Or you could think about it as Y equals X squared plus zero, all right? Your C is actually zero in this one. And here Y equals X squared plus four. Um, so therefore your and the correct answer is going to be D because C is greater than 2. All right? And that does it for Beaver.